sports bettors in Massachusetts will soon be able to ditch their local bookie for a legal sports book. Governor Charlie Baker signed the Massachusetts Sports Wagering Act into law on Wednesday, making the Bay State the 31st in the nation to legalize sports gambling. Our administration first filed legislation to legalize sports wagering in the Commonwealth several years ago, and I am glad to be able. We appreciate the dedication and compromise that the legislature demonstrated on this issue, and we look forward to supporting the work of the Massachusetts Gaming Commission on the responsible implementation of the law over the next several months. The Massachusetts Sports Wagering Act was not a it passed the state Senate by 36 to 4 after elected officials pulled an all-nighter during the last legislative session of 2021-22. For two years, state lawmakers could not agree on a bill and up until the end of July, Governor Baker openly discussed how it might not make it to his desk. Now that the bill has become law, the state's gaming commission will begin working on the implementation and licensing, a process that is expected to take months. Lawmakers estimate that legal sports betting will bring in $60 million in annual tax revenue, thanks to a 15% tax on in-person sports wagers and a 20% tax on mobile betting. Once companies are licensed, betting can take place at brick-and-mortar casinos, horse tracks and via mobile apps. The state's gaming commission will regulate the industry and is allowed to license up to seven companies that do not already have a casino presence in Massachusetts. The state expects to generate up to $80 million in licensing fees, which must be renewed every five years. State Senator Eric Lesser, one of the bill's sponsors, said during Massachusetts Radio's Zolak and Bertrand show that lawmakers are hopeful that legal sports betting might launch before the Super Bowl, the country's biggest single-game betting event. I want the public to understand, as we as Kamasi. This is going to take a little longer than people probably anticipate, and I'm okay with that because I want to do it right. On Tuesday, Massachusetts House Speaker Ronald Mariano said it would be disappointing if the implementation went on too long, 